Yeah. So I had a gerbil named Garbanzo, one of my first pets. And he was in like the fucking gross ass terrarium in my room, whatever. I came home one day. My mom said that he jumped out and broke his neck. Really? Jumped out. He was a suicidal gerbil. Suicidal gerbil. I guess it's a thing. Seizures. Apparently tarantulas, really quick, are suicidal. Are you serious? Yeah. Move on. How are they known? Because they literally just jump off things and kill themselves. Especially as pets. And they're meaning to? I mean, I know we no, can't get totally into the mind. To. Okay. Apparently, they're pretty suicidal. So anyway, gerbils could be like that too. Could be. This one apparently was. Again, I have no proof I was not there. Yeah. I have my mom who was like, he jumped out, da, da, da. I buried him. Don't worry. I buried him. Uh-huh. Moving I feel like on. that's such like a typical family, like mother lie. Right? You know? So a couple months go by. I don't know about when you were growing up, uh, but when I was in the freezer, there's like dough and like weird stuff in the yes. door that you just never look because you're looking for popsicles or like things, whatever. Uh-huh. So it was like slim pickings, one of those slim pickings days where I was just like, dude, there's fucking nothing to yeah. eat. It's like they have, no, we have food in the house. We're not going to go yeah, get something sure. And I'm like, and oh, look, what I need to like make a whole, you know pizza from scratch because yeah. there's stuff to make dough or whatever and that kind of, of shit butter. that's yeah, it yeah, yeah. and yeah. like rice aroni pickles and mayonnaise yeah. which is a great combo oh sure <laughs> delicious <laughs> and margarita mix right that's all you have in the fridge and as long as you're drunk you can get anything though. exactly too bad it's just the mix there's no fucking vodka <laughs> in it but anyway uh, um so i oh i'm like all right fuck so i take one of the bags thinking it's just like dough or something different Boom, garbanzo. No way. Garbanzo in the bag. Wait, wait, no, wait, wait. So now this is a little insight Why? into my family. So my mom. They raise snakes? They have snakes? No. Oh. Uh, she is a weird scientist lady. So oh. she's like a doctor, and but she's also like a crazy hippie lady that likes to dissect things. And like we have a wall with like you know weird squirrel furs yeah. and like things in formaldehyde and what have okay. you i don't think garbanzo should have been part of this death wall your family pet my probably fa- not. my first pet ever that's gotta be scarring how old were you yeah i mean maybe nine <laughs> eight oh or God. nine so you saw it i saw it did you like and I just, scream and i drop? dropped it and it just like hit like a rock yeah frozen Solid. And you just like, There's a hug. Mom. Hug. My mom's like, I wanted to. B- I was gonna boil it and get the skeleton and put it back together. I'm just like, so. If we're talking about us and like getting to know each other, yeah, that's just a little insight. Into oh my like, god. Well, you know what? My un- my aunt and uncle raised snakes. No joke. They had like a little okay, snake house. Okay, that's very they, specific. Yeah, they as had well. a snake house. Yes, yes, so yes. So when we would always go into their fridge, of course, as like you know, around the same age as you, yeah, I would see all these dead little mice, like with you know, like are all flat and stuck. And I was always, I was like, oh, like oh you know, they're all in the fridge, frozen. Yeah, yeah. Was, you know, my 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 mom would be like, it's fine, it's just their food. Yeah. So and then he would have that's a ton traumatizing. Of, like, rat cages. Yeah. And I remember I'd go to uh, every time, every time I'd go to like pet the rats and like. I, you know, I felt bad for them. Then they yeah. bite me. And then I'd be like, oh, good, you are. Yeah, you get, <laughs> yeah, exactly. I hope you do get eaten. Dangle him in front of the thing. You're like, okay, <laughs> fine. Like, oh, yeah, and you got your taste. Yeah, rat. You got your first that's taste. That's going to be weird, though. Especially, like, I can only imagine, like, to me as a kid, I was like, oh, that sucks. Like, yeah. And I didn't even know the little rat yeah. mices. Yeah. You knew the gerbil. Yeah. To see your your family member. Yeah. Guinea pig, gerbil. Yeah. It's like one of those. One of those. I clearly loved him well, so much. I don't even know yeah, what he no, was. Yeah, no, it is. It's okay. We had a ton of those when we were younger. Right? They're too. like, like a, hamsters, guinea pigs, And I don't gerbils. think they even like, know. No, they At didn't. the pet store, they're like, yeah, whatever. It kind of looks Ours like. Ours would always get out and then somehow die in the house. My da- So my dad did home inspections when we were younger. Okay. And I was like a really big tomboy. Like I grew up like really outdoorsy. Sure. Um, thanks to my parents. And my, like I always would collect snakes like in the backyard, like little gardener snakes. And we would like. Keep them in, you know, the little like terrarium thing. My yeah, parents yeah. bought me. Yeah. And then when my dad would go, he would go like inspect some of these super old houses that had like swimming pools that had literally tadpoles in them. Yeah. Every time. So we'd always bring home tadpoles and we'd raise them in the frogs. Um, no joke. And I love that. It was cool. Like I it love was that. a good learning it's experience. It's similar to my upbringing in yeah. that way where it was just like we're just in nature I weird know. stuff you bring them home we had a squirrel you know what i mean it's like whatever <laughs> yeah you've been watching every move and plotting your next move on every girl i'm moving on yeah don't y'all better things 
to do